Hey everybody, it's Ben here with a quick solar video for you. I'm here in Wisconsin and it's only four days from the winter solstice. And the thing is we're far enough north here that uh, the angle of the sun is very, very noticeable in the winter. So right now, the way I'm filming this, it's 2.45 in the afternoon. And where I am right now, I'm already in full shadow. And if you look on, up on the roof of the garage, uh, right up along here, that is actually the shadow from the peak of my house, which is right over here. Uh, but even if it wasn't for that, uh, if my house wasn't here, the sun would very, very be quickly uh, dropping behind my neighbor's house and all my neighbor's trees over there. And that's one reason why I have micro inverters, because each solar panel is separate from the rest. Uh, the ones that are still in the sun still make power, even when the ones that are in the shade here don't. But here's something else kind of interesting. I'm going to show you a photo from uh, the middle of the day today. I have this pine tree that's way up in the front yard. But even though it's up in the front yard, the sun is so low, it never even gets over the top of this tree. So it makes a big shadow across the garage uh, right through the middle of the day. Uh, for the most part, it's only blocking the lower row of solar panels and it kind of sweeps across there. So if we look at the computer, we can see information about how much power my solar panels are making and actually do kind of a little animation. And you can see the panels being shaded in the middle of the day are making very, very little power. But the other solar panels around them still in the sun are making plenty of power. So that's uh, one of the advantages of going with a micro inverter system is it separates out the power with traditional systems where the solar panels are all in series. If one of them produces hardly any power, uh, it's the same with all the rest of them. It's kind of the weakest link in the chain. So I just wanted to show you that as long as you're getting some sunny weather, uh, it's still pretty good in the winter, but you do have to be a little careful of shading in the winter because shadows are so much longer than they are at any other time of year. Uh, hope you learned a little bit here and until next time, stay charged up. We hope you liked this video. If you did, please comment, share, like, and subscribe. Come on over and check out the blog at 300mpg.org. We're also now on Patreon and would love your support there. We'll see you next time.